for it We was a piss poor, just wanted every single Jordan In the store, unemployed, so I'm taking yours Call me catching up quick, trying to fill a void Damn, pick your poison, sip a liquor, blocking out the noise But the truth still null and void Oh boy, got ambition in the million knees Nigga, please don't bother me Just leave a message at the beep, I gotta eat So I grind eight days a week Until they bury me a living legend in the flesh But I'm still stressed, I know life is yeah. a test They go right, you go look, left look. Don't worry about uh, death, keep sight I was on my so I was grinding every day yeah, yeah. was really crooked cause my pocket What's was good, straight. family? Yeah. This yeah. is the Playmaker yeah. Podcast I'm your host, Reggie Coleman Your co-host, DJ Dean And today we got a we got family here. He's not a special guest no more. We got family. He right. was on the podcast two years ago around Double this back. time. Double back. Um, John John, welcome back. I know that. John John, <laughs> artist name 11. <laughs> Shit, I'm here with uh, the family, like they said before. I mean, my homie DJ Bean wasn't here at the time. You feel me? We had Keita here last time. Shout out to Keita. You feel me? It's still all love. It's still family. So I'm comfortable, I'm cozy. So if y'all see me slouching and shit, it ain't because I'm on some bullshit, but um it's because I'm I'm cozy. <laughs> <laughs> Bumped your so me. Two years ago, a lot been going on in the world. We've been through a pandemic. Um I'm sure you've been through some stuff. We've been through some stuff. So how you been the last two years? Um, I ain't that's a speak. that's a real yeah. Open question, like you can go anywhere yeah. with it. So, so how I you feel like? I feel like as soon as we saw each other too, like we ain't really like had that talk we we'll normally have. Like, yo, how you been? How's family? How's this? How's that? We because did. we was waiting for this moment. So like, shit. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm human. Like life has been like unpredictable. Best way I can put it. You feel me? Pandemic hit. Um, I'm thankful I got a decent job. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Nice little nine to five, you know what I'm saying? So when the pandemic hit, um, I shifted from the office to working from home. So my transition was a little bit more easier than others. Like, I know a lot of people lost their jobs. Like, you know, and they they had resorted to doing other things that they don't normally do because they needed money, you know what I'm saying? So I know the pandemic, like, drove people, like, out of their mind. But luckily, I'm blessed. I was blessed enough to... You know, weathered the storm, but I was still involved in the storm. It wasn't that easy. But I'm I'm okay. Like I won't complain. I can't. Like I can't. So you can't complain. So we talked off air, but you, this what a month or two ago you was in a in a car accident. Just talk Man. about that that situation and how you we're feeling during that time, and how are you doing now after how you going through back. that? Yeah, man, I'm. I'll be totally honest with y'all. Um, it's weird to say. It's like that accident happened. I feel as though everything. All right, basically everything in life happens when it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing that God is putting me through or putting you, you mm-hmm. or you through. You know what I'm saying? It's just by accident. It's all designed. But with that being said, like. That accident happened at a certain point in time in my life where I was spiraling. Like, I was mm. more so, like, going backwards. Everything I was doing was just bringing me backwards. Like, I would drink a certain amount, and then I would just, like, push certain people away. I would do certain things. Like, I was spiraling, like, real bad. Mm. Like, it was, like, it was bad to the point, like, I'll be calling my brothers late at night, and they like, bro... We was on the phone for like 30 minutes, and the only reason why I hang up, because I was scared if you was going to make a home Word. safe or not. Like, it, But in the midst of my mind, I'm like conceptualizing everything. I'm like, okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. But once the accident happened, it was more so like, sit the fuck down. Like, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but nah, it was Hard, more so hardy. like, word. But nah, it was more so like, nah, I ain't, I'm gonna make a long story short, but it was more so like that accident happened. Like, I basically feel as though if that accident didn't happen, right now this interview wouldn't have happened because mm-hmm. my energy would have been off. Like, I would have, we probably would have scheduled this interview and I probably would have made plans to do something else, thinking that something word. else is important because. I wasn't in the right mindset. It was an eye-opener. Definitely an eye-opener. And I almost lost my life in the process. Like, I had to get pulled out of the car. I was unconscious. That was the first time I ever been knocked out. Like, I'm not saying, please don't come try me. Like, I'm I'm, I'm a grown-ass man. Don't don't try me. Leave me alone. I ain't been knocked out to this point. Like, just leave me. You feel me? Let me be. You feel me? So, question. 
I'm gonna cut you off. When you, no, you uh, when you came back to your senses or whatever, like what was the, what was that like? What was that atmosphere like? Were uh, was people in the room? Were you by yourself? Like how? I mean, shit. I was I was right out north. Mm -hmm. Basically, I was on my way to the studio late night, and this is after the flood had happened. So Perry was blocked off, so I had mm. to take back roads, and I basically came to a light, and I was waiting. Mm -hmm. The light turned green. As soon as the light turned green, that's all I remember. Got you. So that's what I'm saying. When you you were in the hospital when you woke up, when no. you woke up, mm -mm. oh you woke up. No, I woke scene. I woke yeah on scene on uh, scene. All, okay, like okay. like people dragged me out the car. Like officers was there. Like it was the person that hit me was like upset. I'm asking for their insurance. They, Got you. It's yeah. But it, it was a lot. Going. I know how. It know, was it was it was, it was it was bad. It was real bad. But the only thing I can think of was to call my mother. So. Word. Mom's no best. Yeah. Shout out to mom, dude. Yeah. She came through, and in the midst of that, she's like, "Come on, let's do this, let's do that," and that's how the night panned out. But that that right there, honestly, was. Yeah. Let me mm. let me Almost not to life, not bro. to uh, talk about that too much. But last question from me about that: um, how how do you feel <laughs> after that? Like, do you did you ever take life for granted, or? Was that you said it was an eye opener? But how do you feel after that? Like, did you take life for granted before that? Hell yeah, word. Hell yeah, and I, I mean, not to divvy off like subject or nothing, but like especially once after losing like day day and whatnot, word. like I honestly didn't find time to grieve because I felt like mm -hmm. who's gonna sit there and want to talk about this? Like, who can I actually sit down and console with? Like, without it coming off of like. I knew him more than you knew me kind of thing. Like, it was more so like, hey, I'm grieving too, but I didn't know who to grieve too because everybody around me was grieving of, over the same mm -hmm. thing. So I more so kept to myself. So like I said, I picked up certain habits and it it made me spiral. So. Gotcha. Yeah. R.P. Bass. That, that yeah, was our brother. R.P. did it, man. Um, <clears throat> all right. So let's talk about your music real quick. So I don't know what it's been. A month or two months, you put out twelve songs. Mm -hmm. What was the pro what was your, that process of like you thinking about releasing music? You probably got way more music. So what was that pro process of like I'm gonna put this amount of songs out in this time? I think it was one a week, and then you started doing two per week. Yeah, it's like what was just, that process? <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't, I'm trying not to force feed everybody, but it's just like certain weeks. I'm just like, no, these two have to go at the same time. <laughs> like that's more so I what it is. Ones. Double yeah, up. Like, <laughs> like even if they don't sound alike, they mesh together in a sense. Like everything I'm doing is in a sense strategically like being thought out and being done. But at the same time, like, I mean, of course I would love to have a manager or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit have pick up quicker but at the same time at this point right now is where I'm having the most fun because I got to do everything on my own got you what I get out of this is what I'm putting out so what I'm doing I'm just gonna keep dropping every single week so and the universe ain't got no choice but to give me something word. back like, so um you heard what he said so were they old songs or were these like recent songs where you was in the studio you dropping maybe that next week like what well, they was two, old or new? Two songs I recorded last year. Mm. Um Stop My Shine and oh, Freak. Stop My Shine dropped the same time. I dropped two songs at the same time mm. when I dropped Stop My Shine. Whatever the other song is with Stop My Shine, <clears throat> I recorded both of those last year, but everything else, no, I recorded this year. I'm gonna tell you yeah. which ones I like. I'm gonna just give you three. I don't say no more. Against uh against my religion. Tough. Um, what was the one I just told you? Uh, trying to fill a void. Tough. Cause you know Man, I got my boy one. Interstate Smooth. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. My yeah, boy, yeah. Be, <laughs> my boy be floating. Where can they? Uh, the Damn, the viewers. Where can they? Uh, the if they want to download your music or they want to tune in. Where, where can, what platform? Nah. They shit. Apple on, Music, Spotify. Uh, yeah, title title be like iffy, but like they they still show a little bit of love. What they have to search. Um, just type in E one one V I N. Okay, that's okay. it. Like, cause everybody keep thinking it's Elvin, it's eleven. 
Like, like, who the hell's Elf? Yeah. Tune in. Nah, I appreciate you know that. Nah, I appreciate that. Y'all heard bro. what he said. Real Go shit. Tune in. Apple e Music. Simple, simple one one B I N. Oh shit. Simple. Oh shit. Yeah. I had to put that out around Halloween. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a story behind that song, bro. You, I almost you never released that. It? Yeah, I almost never released it. <laughs> yeah, let them know what happened. What's, nah, what's not, not even, not even on no crazy shit. But I never, almost, I almost never released that because, like, I had to sit down with one of my homies. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, "Yo, if I never knew who the fuck you was, and I heard this song, I would just assume like you just on some, some gangster shit. Like, as soon as I see you, like, but you got Word. the pistol, you got this, yeah. you got that. And I'm like, I get that. <laughs> and I was like, I get that, bro. I was like, but did I lie on the song? Hmm. It's like, no, you didn't. But you need to understand when you talk about certain stuff, certain stuff come with it. And I'm like, okay, well, my past two projects, all I've been talking about was just be motivational, be this, mm -hmm. be that. And shit, even you on Simple to, Math, I'm you still... You to switch it up a little bit. Night, switch it up, but more so just put everything out there. Because at that point in time when I was recording, I was just frustrated. Like, mm -hmm. I was at war with myself. Like, I'm afraid to say certain things because, like, my family going to portray this that way, that way, that way. But my family went through everything mm -hmm. I put them through. So they everything I'm saying is not, are, like... It's not new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it may be new to y'all, but at the same time, you I'm not glorifying it. You're presenting either. it in a different way. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and that's why I call it simple math because real niggas will never die. We just multiply, so I broke it down into a song. Mm. That's it. I'm not just on there being ignorant and just you know what I'm saying. Have you uh have you always had that support from like friends and family when it came to your music? Have you ever had somebody that told you that they didn't really you know they didn't rock with your your music like that? Have you ever been through that experience? Yeah, and that's a humbling thing. Um. I mean, I'm going through that right now. Like, people tell me, like, I, I play music around my family and friends, and they're like, oh, this is hard. This is You think they're being honest? I can see through the body smoke language, and mirrors. Body language, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. But that's okay. I don't take it as, like, damn. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> when they tell you to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it, I'm like, okay, all right, cool. That means I just need to, all right, or either this song will work for you or just this is not it. I'm okay with either, but I respect people that actually listen and just be like, no, like, no. That's why I got, I, I'll, I'll just name one person, like my cousin who I'm doing business with now, like, I'm doing business with him because he's honest. I know if I come to him and he he going to tell me like, no, this yeah, is right. not it, bro. Like, what were you thinking when you did that? No, you start over. Like, but gotcha. he's the only person I know that's just going to do that, like breathing. Gotcha, gotcha. My feelings aren't easily hurt. Like that's what be making it weird to me. Of like, why y'all? Like, in the song um, "Against My Religion," it was a lot. It was, it was emotions in that one. That's like I'm sure, it's, <laughs> I'm sure it's emotion in every song, but in that one, like I actually heard it. So like, what were you going through whenever you made that song? If you want to talk about it, because I heard yeah. the emotion. I'm like, damn, he really, he really into this one. Pause. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> y'all don't know. Red's gonna case. strike three just already. Just in case. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> strike We're three up. already. Damn, right? yeah. yeah. boy. Damn. But um, against against my religion, bro. Coffee. That's yeah. That coffee, yeah. boy. Decaf, right? Some coffee. Decaf. That shit. Hey, no sugar, no cream, no nothing. Hey, yeah. don't worry about me. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, but nah, um, when I was honestly, for real, for real, bro, when I was in the process of writing that song, I was living in North Carolina, and at that point in time, like, I had a certain schedule that I put myself through. Like, basically, I wrote a lot of these songs that I put out right now during my time in North Carolina because I, like, put myself through a certain kind of schedule. I would wake up, I would go to work, I would clock out, I'd make sure everything else is done, and then I'll step outside and I'll write. Mm. Until I'm tired, like, and I did that shit for like months, like I can't, I don't know, I did it for a long time until it became like, like waking up going to the gym type shit. So when I was writing that, I was real. I wouldn't say I was depressed, but I was, I was, I was inspired, but at the same time, I was demotivated because I'm like, mm. I'm writing what I'm writing. I'm inspired to do what I'm doing, but I'm not seeing no result from it, no immediate result. So that was mm. more so like a 
when I wrote that track. And then it's two different hooks to this track. I don't know if everybody catch on to that shit. Everybody keep thinking like, yo, is the last part the hook? Like, no, it's two different hooks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I try to be like creative as possible and be as vulnerable as possible. Like, I'm so secretive. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like to party. I don't, I'm that friend. Like, you know, not to call me because I'm <laughs> like, don't call me too early in the week. Don't call me on Monday to schedule something for Saturday because right. by Wednesday, I already thought myself out of going. Like, mm hmm. I'm that Man, friend. That's real shit. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> a lot really, of people don't admit that. I'm I mean, really sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Nah, that's real shit, bro. Nah, for real. Hit me up I'm Friday really for friend. Friday night. For real. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> But you hit it Monday, bro. You gotta call next after, Saturday. You gotta call me on after three o'clock. And I, what Monday? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, look, I'll be looking in my account, my pocket. I'll be like, hell yeah, we lit, bro. Friday hit up. Damn, that's yeah. a good one. Friday, I don't already made it in my mind. Yeah, I'm about to sit here. I'm about to bench watch this last it's season. Shows uh, to watch fuck now, too. Man, look. So I got a question. Um, you you say you moved to North Carolina? Mm. Have you ever lived here? No. But so I lived in was, South Carolina before. Oh, uh, so, so I was gonna ask you, how was that experience like moving to a different state? No, no friends, no, mm-hmm. no family. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you adapt to that? College helped mm-hmm. me. Okay, okay. College helped me. I like I said, bro. Like shit, my life ain't easy, but I roll with it. But at the same time, I'm blessed. Like I got to go to college at the age of 17. Mm-hmm. I went to South Carolina. I was out there for like three years, and then what, I uh, what school. Up. Benedict College. Well, uh, shout out to everybody who went to Benedict. Yeah, you watching. Right out there in the Met, y'all. I nah, I ain't gonna say <laughs> it. Nah, I got love for them though, man. It was just, it was wild out there, bro. It was basically Trenton, but a little slower. Mm. Got you. <laughs> yeah, you know they're down <laughs> south, they're a little behind. Oh, they behind, but they they different. <laughs> they different, boy. It's different in the south. But I wound up leaving there, and I wound up transferring to Full Sail in Orlando, Florida. Okay. So I've I've been fortunate enough to like travel and live in different states and be away from home. For real. And like <clears throat> go away and then come back home and see how shit really is and be like, oh shit, y'all still doing the same shit. <laughs> That's crazy. not much change. And not not more so just like judge judgmental, no, I but get it's it. just more so like I know not to call you because Would you recommend you someone moving out of like from their hometown? You think it's a good decision or Yeah, I would recommend everyone to just try to just get away from where you were born at for at gotcha. least like a half a year just just you know a relative just go go down there stay down there say you pay rent get a job yeah. just live somewhere else somewhere else right just so you can see and then come back because once you come back there's no way in hell you're not gonna come back and be inspired you feel mm. me mm. let me ask you this how was going to school like going to college in florida <sighs> Without it's, saying, it's you know, too day. much. Uh, that's oh, what yeah, I'm no, saying. Like, God, damn. Because I, I know you said without saying too much, but I didn't have that experience out there, Word. surprisingly. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a car when I went mm. out there. So everything I got, like, I had to earn. Like, I had to walk to and from. Like, it take me 20 minutes to walk there, 20 minutes back. And then my school ran on a 24-hour schedule. So mm. six days out of the week. So I would do each class is four hours. Damn. So I would have a, I'll have like two <laughs> classes in a lab that day. Mm. That's twelve hours. Like yeah, so I was walking to and from school, and yeah, and it rained in Florida every fucking nah, day. Every so, day, yeah. so and mind you, I had a MacBook. You feel <laughs> oh, me? You that I had to. Yeah, and in I'm the walk, rain. I found different <laughs> yeah. ways how to keep. You feel me? How to keep dry and shit. So yeah, no, I didn't have that turn we up experience. Good times I had certain times yeah. when I hit like UCF. <laughs> Nah, I'll be lit. I, I had a bad time in Miami, 2015. Yeah, Miami different, bro. That's a whole other country. Know this they story. are overpriced, though. <laughs> Only certain people know this story. Oh, you about to tell a story? Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Quick, I quick, hear this. quick sidebar. Yeah, 2015, <laughs> me, Reg, and my, you know, try to lead her mail, feed all them. We <laughs> the all went to Miami. My first time there, right? Oh shit. So we think that you know you good. Back you then, good. he had seven dollars. I said, bro, say not nah, good. Yeah, I said, bro, stay in my room. <laughs> no, <laughs> notice he said back then. Nah, back uh, then it was a while ago. More of the story. I thought you could survive off one meal <laughs> while drinking gallons of liquor every day. More of the story. Passed out on the beach. Shout out to Zay. They was, walked me the whole me. like beach and threw me in the water. I was wrapped in a sheet in Miami. It's a hundred degrees out there. <laughs> 
And bro. I was rap. I was looking like Casper the Ghost. Bro, he is passed out. He was passed. Nah, he no. I he was trying to kill himself. <laughs> we all grown. He he, he, pa- drink, he passed out right. He was drinking Henny so and you know, like it's a bunch morning. of it's a bunch of Caucasian. It it's a bunch of Caucasian people around. Listen. They like call the ambulance. Hell I'm like, no. nah, he good. Nah. <laughs> we in Florida. Oh, that's the last <laughs> thing, yo. That's the last. So I said, thing pour some do, water man. on him or throw him in that in that ocean. Yeah, they threw they, me in the he sheet. woke up after that. I was good, but I wasn't. I wasn't Damn. calling nobody for him. I knew the he water. was good. Damn, my that's man a side got bar. Baptized in Miami, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's some of the littest shit that's I ever I heard, bro. Uh, Ex alcoholic. <laughs> I don't drink no more. We got back. <laughs> Damn, man. He pulled up to my crib with a 40. Like, bro, I'm done drinking for like a week. <laughs> Corona and that. Damn, but that was, man. That was yeah, 2015. Was... So I got to say, um, um, what you think, what do you think the uh, hardest part um, of be, like being an artist, what's the, what's the most difficult thing mm. that you've, you've experienced since being an a artist? <clears throat> That that, or that solo that's artist, really that. like independent. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say people either bite their tongue or people view and don't say anything at all. That's kind of like the weirdest shit to me. Only because I notice everything now mm-hmm. because it's not that many. I mean, I, I'm working towards the day like I can't keep up, yeah. but like <clears throat> right now, like I see it. And it's not, I think people just be thinking like, I want them to like post or repost my music and shit like that. No, I actually just want you to sit down and listen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if it, if you fuck with it, tell me if you don't, like you still interact and I still like, that's, I still need, I still need that feedback. Like I be putting the song, like like today I dropped the songs, right? You, you know, you're the first person that, t- you know, you're the first person that told me, gave me feedback about it, right? Bro, I'm just, you know. But no, I'm just I saying do. like, yeah, just yeah, think yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like. I would like for it not to be like that because I know you're not the only person that listened today. Nah, for <clears> sure. I get what you're saying. Like you ain't I like it. Well, no, yeah, don't, I, you ain't gotta more people it. saw just, it. Just so you just would feel like you me. feel like you want people to talk if they to know me. you personally, just hit you up like Good or bro, bad. I saw whether you know me or not. Got you. Y'all heard what he said. <laughs> like whether you know me or not. Like <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I can tell if you trolling, I can tell mm. if you being real like I'm not shit. I don't know everything, but still, like you know, you could just feel it. But at the same time, like shit, if I'm just putting out, that's why I keep putting out all this damn music. Gotcha. Because I feel like I'm not even force feeding nobody. Because are y'all really listening? Mm. But am I hurt? No, because I got. Yeah. We can do this all year. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we can keep going. Like this. Yeah. So I'm prepared. You so. don't really care, but. Let me see how can I frame this. You don't really care, but does that make you feel some type of way? I guess that's different. Yeah, so, I'm human. People that don't reach out to you and make you feel some type. On Let a me, personal level, go I would ahead, say. Go ahead, go ahead. You mm-hmm. say you got people that listen to your music, and you know them personally. Mm-hmm. Do you feel some type of way if they don't be like, all right, well, I like this song, or I feel like you could have did something different in this one. All right, that's what you're looking for? Only if... You took time out to listen to okay, the music. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you clearly like all all my like I'm probably the only person out of it's probably like two or three or few of us, like we ain't got no kids yet and everything, you know what I'm saying? But like everybody else got like a life outside of our friendship. So gotcha. like, I gotta be I, I remind myself of that. But it's like, all right, they be like, bro, I fuck with that. Like, yo, I heard your song earlier. I'm like, all right, what you think? That shit hard. Bro, not everything I put out is gonna be hard. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You want an honest answer. so after That's a while, after, at, yeah. after like the fifth time I ask you, <laughs> and then you give me the same answer, then I'm like, okay, like you are afraid to be honest That's with me, and I'm and I'm not even a like I'm not an intimidator. So it's like you afraid to be honest with me, then I know you're afraid to be honest with yourself, and that's kind of it's kind of weird. They give like you that. they they give you the answer where you so you know how somebody call you and they it. They call you, the message drone come up like, and it gives you like, I'm busy, I'm at work. Oh, yeah. yeah. What is that? Yeah. Generic. It's already. <laughs> it's already. Yeah. Stone. I already know yeah. what I'm about to say. Yeah. Come on, yeah. bro. Yeah. I, so we ain't even got to make a conversation. Just, just to double back on his question, up. do you look for certain people to repost? Mm-mm. No. No, nah, honestly, it always surprises me. It surprises me when y'all repost. It surprises me whenever anybody reposts this shit. I'm grateful. 
I don't expect right. for anybody to do anything for me. Gotcha. What I'm doing is for the love, and I, I'm actually having fun with it. When I'm when I don't have no fun with it no more, then I don't want to do it. Like, yeah, if I'm <laughs> once I once I stop having fun with it, I'm done with it. That, I mean that shit. I don't want to be rapping until I'm like seventy, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just like yeah, a yeah, foot yeah, way. Yeah. Like I want to act. I want to do voiceovers. Ooh, I want to like. Act? Hell yeah, I want to do all that shit, bro. Look at uh, these skits pop. Sorry, you no. feel me? Nah, hit my nah, man, hit my man Money like Rich that. for the uh, <laughs> for the skits, man. Look, look, boy, it, Rich it, be it, on the skits. On, look. <laughs> look at this face zooming at this point. <laughs> so, 2019, you dropped Good Intentions, Bad Habits. Yeah. You didn't drop nothing in 2020, did you? Or did nah, you? Just nope. songs. Or not even songs. Nah, I, I didn't think. drop anything. That's yeah, when so I was... Now, we in 2021, you dropped mm. 12 songs. Mm. Are those songs going to be a part of something? Do you got an album in the works? Like, what's what's mm. that process looking like? Well, the album, The Successful Failure, mm-hmm. was supposed to be composed of some of these songs that I put out. But after that accident... And I went back and I looked into the drawing board and I had a I had a deep conversation with somebody like I value their opinion. One of the people that I actually don't hold punches with me, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And they was like, okay, so I asked him, I was like, yo, how do you really feel about this album? Like, I mean, shit, I can go to my phone right now. Like, I keep the track list on my as my background, you know what I'm saying? And I played the songs for him and he was like, yeah, uh, all of these songs is hard, but it's it's probably like four or five on her that makes sense with the title. Mm. So I was like, okay. So I was like, all right, so what you trying to say? He was like, all right, well, if this is like a debut, you know what I'm saying? Like a debut, like you mm. gonna treat this like an album album, like Oh, that's what is that's what it is. That's what I want it to be. Word. That's how I'm going into it. Like I done did mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? I done did singles, like mm. I done did you know what I'm saying? I'm more so just releasing all these singles because what I'm getting at is that I thought I had the album done just because I had a bunch of good songs composed that I can put in an order from 1 to 11, and it'd be like, all right, I can make these sonically make sense. So I was like, all right, the album's done, but no, the album is far from fucking done. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the stuff that I've been writing ever since my accident and everything and stuff I've recorded since then, it was just like, it's it's totally different than everything that I'm putting out right now. So it's like, no, I'm back to the drawing board. So in the midst, if you are a fan, it's a good thing for you. Because yeah. now I'm about to just keep throwing all of these damn songs out because I can't sit on them. Like, they, shit is done. But am I still working on the album now? Yeah. I'm Album, you're not going to get that for You're not getting it this year or... Hey, take some time. Put a album out for six years. Yeah. Bro, you put out 12 songs in a, uh, it seems like a fucking month. And I bought, bro, I got so many more. Shit, I got, (laughs) look, shout out to 100 Miles. I got some shit coming with him. Mm. That shit, oh my, that shit hard. Shit, me and Interstate Smooth still got some shit. Shit, me and my boy Monte Fresh. And, uh, shit, shit, shit. And, uh, my boy Lux Fonz. We still got some shit that we got. You feel me? In the works. You feel me? It's like, I'm, yeah, I'm not dumb, bro. I'm far from dumb, bro. Is there uh anybody uh I mean, I don't want to say the area, but mm-hmm. anybody personally that you would like to collab with? Do you have somebody that you like collabing with and mm-hmm. when y'all get together, y'all just make I I'll make answer magic? real quick. Him and Interstate Smooth. Mm-hmm. I feel like every song <laughs> they on is like, bro, I like Interstate that song. Interstate Smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's my boy from Queens, man. I got to get him down here, man. He just had his baby girl, too. Shout out to Ruby. Shout out to the kids. Congrats, Shout congrats. out to Ruby. That's my homie, man. I was actually just out there last week, too. That's the crazy shit, too. That's 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 my Happy brother. Happy belated birthday, I met birthday him in college. Too. Happy belated birthday. I appreciate Happy you, King. Okay. I appreciate you, All King. Right. Appreciate you. Um, for people that don't know, what um, what's a typical day in the studio for you? Like, for people that don't even know how to, mm-hmm. how to make music, like... How many hours are you in the studio? What are you trying to? What's the main goal? Because you know you got to pay for studio time. So is it? Are you just trying to get this track down? Or are you just trying to? Um, I don't know. Put the beats together. Like, mm-hmm. do you go in with the beats already, or how's it, how's it go? What's a typical, typical couple hours or a whole day in the studio? Like studio. Uh, 
Great question, DJ Bean. Word, He's a DJ, a good, by the way. Word, that's a good ass question. <laughs> and then I'm gonna double back to the um to the people I want to collaborate to because I I ain't even get a chance to say nothing about that because it's a I'm I got a, I got a nice little list for you. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to remember. But um the average day for me in the studio honestly is like like from I, when you walk in to mm-hmm. when I walk in for one I record at Greenhouse Recording Studios. Okay, mm-hmm. Greenhouse. Recording studios in Lenhurst, New Jersey. All right, it's hands down the best, one of the best recording studios that I record at. You know what I'm saying? So shout out, shout out to them. But um, they always show me love in there. Whenever I step in there, I got my one engineer I fuck with. His name is Jay. Shout out to him. That's my boy. <laughs> um, shit. I, as soon as we walk in there, I, I, I tell him which beats I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. I tell him what the vibe is today. And then I'll walk out, probably go smoke or something. I'll come back in. He had a lights dimmed to a certain color or some shit. Gotcha. Like, and then, like, he'll play the beat. And then I'll rap it out loud until, like, I remember it. And then I'll go inside the booth. And then I'll just try to rap it, like, rap it that way. And we just try to knock out as many songs as possible. But I don't never go to the studio with, like, nothing written. Got you. So you always like, go with something... And you always got you always have your beats ready or mm-hmm. okay. Got and you. even then, even then, like even if I go in, I go in there and they're like, "Yo, try this beat." I might think that I, I'm about to spit this off of this beat, but then you play something. I'm like, "All right, I can find a way to mess this. Got I can you. find it. At least I got something written. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I don't never go. I don't. I don't go to the studio unprepared. Always yeah. have something written. Yeah, always. I don't care if it's just like 16. Like you always got to have something, bro. Even eight. That's a verse for somebody. Because you can build you off me? of that, correct? Exactly, gotcha. exactly. I don't go in there unprepared or just be like, I'm going to just go off the mode. And <laughs> I don't get paid. This, <laughs> this is not my profession yet. Yeah, definitely. I don't get paid to do this yet, so I don't have the luxury of so doing you don't, that. You don't take your life. Yeah, I don't waste no, hell no. I don't waste no time. I'm in there trying to bust my ass. No homo. Word. Well, ain't no homo on that. <laughs> nah, I got a question for that, but to go back to Quan's question, who would you want to work with? Oh, yeah. In the area, I guess. Shit. Nah, that's why I was getting that too. It's mad people in the area, man. I mean, shit, uh, pretty tsunami. I like, Word. I just coke. What's her name? Cocaina. Cocaina I, yeah. I, I want, I want, I don't want to mm-hmm. butcher nobody names and shit. Uh, shit, Myra, voice of Myra. Shit, I got some, some shit on the way. I'm supposed to be recording with her. You know what I'm saying? Once that accident happened, that fucked up my um. My damn, uh, you was moving, you was yeah, my movement. <laughs> I can't get, and you know, my studio is like an hour and twenty minutes away. You can't so move how you want to move. Yeah, so that kind of fucked up the shit with her. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm hoping that that shit can still come to fruition. Um, should of course It'll happen at the right time. Yeah, of course, shit. And happy birthday to her too. I think her shit was either today or it's coming up. But if I'm wrong, Myra, I'm sorry, yeah. Happy birthday, Myra. Yeah, Voice one of Myra, those. one of the but, towns. Um, Word, shit, uh, shit. Those hardest females I know in the town. You feel me? And shit, ooh, shit. Mm-hmm. I gotta do That'd something else cool. with Nodge. I gotta do something else with uh, one hundred miles. You feel me? Mm. Shit, shit. No, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Make sure y'all go check out these artists too that we. He nah, that too. ass. Everybody that I'm <clears> naming. <throat> shit. I mean, shit. I already named some of my niggas already. You feel me? Uh, Lux Fonz and Monte mm-hmm. Fries. You feel me? And Interstate Smooth. Shit. The whole Cutthroat Gang. Gotcha. You feel me? My boy Ricky, all of them niggas, shit, Interstate Bro, all of them niggas. I mean, that's that's really about it. I really want to collaborate with people that understand where I come from Word. and that breathe the same air I breathe in a sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we all human, but like they actually breathe this Mercer County air. You know gotcha. how this shit smells yeah, like this yeah, shit yeah. smells like fucking sofa <laughs> like <laughs> anybody that breathe this same kind garbage, of air you feel me garbage truck juice that ass and that can actually cultivate some good like ideas and flows and shit like that that's inspiring those are the people I want to be around right now cause of course I want to collaborate with my favorite artist but Word. I don't that's not that's not important right now I, I honestly I honestly would be more excited to step in a studio with book with Big O right now mm-hmm. for the first time rather than stepping in there with J. Cole. Word. Because Shout I can make... Oof. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah shit. We sign out there. We gotta get him He on. just dropped the album too. Make sure yeah, y'all go right. check yeah, it out yeah, on Apple uh, Music. Bro. I want to say it's called Slip Real Talk. Shit. Yeah. Up, I don't want to say the wrong album, but Real he did up, just bro. drop... I want to say, don't quote me on that. Yeah, don't quote me. Real shit. I ain't trying to... Real shit though, but nah, that's that's what I want to do. I want to. I need that inspiration right now. That's what's going to take me to the next level. I don't want to keep running in place. I don't want to get content. I don't want to get too much too soon. Like mm. everything I'm getting right now, I'm working for, and I'm okay with that. 
Not to uh, good. Uh, nah, nah, not to throw good. nobody under the bus. Um, but who, who do <laughs> but you, I'm about to throw you under the bus. No, no, no. Who, who do you think is <laughs> who, who's one of your biggest supporters? Mm. Like from who's mm. been from start to finish? You know, what I mean, being honest, either promoting your music or just I don't even sitting down with you, listening to your music with you. Who, who's somebody mm. or a couple people that you think have always been there by your side through everything? <sighs> My boy coming know. with the questions Yeah, today. yo, God. I ain't even Damn. write these down. <laughs> you the GOAT, man. <laughs> Damn, I mean, I would have to say, honestly, for real, for real, my family, my biggest support system is my family. That's like that's why I don't never, like, rap with my music. Like, oh, my family wasn't there. You never mm-hmm. held me down. You never, like, no. Like, my family is very supportive, bro. They actually been there for me. So I more so had to say, like, my dad... My mother, my stepmother, like everybody, my baby sister, like shit, both of them, like everybody, shit, all my homies, they all been there. I mean, we all fall out, we all brothers and everything, but we all support each other in our own way, man. Life don't just revolve around me. Word. I be having to remind myself, like even mm-hmm. though I think I'm gonna be the famous friend one day, gotcha. so y'all should give me more attention. Like, no, yeah. I gotta help y'all see it. Gotcha. Just to go back on um, where you say you're not getting paid yet to do this. I, not enough, no. Th- I, I asked, you know, Rich, he was on last episode. Mm-hmm. I said, I asked him. Shout out DJ Money Rich. Word, My word, boy. Word. First freestyle Let's ever. Let's go. That nigga lit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo Rich Let's walk go. in any room, turn that bitch up, bro. No, Genuine, too. No, he he genuine. Yeah, Bob, definitely. Word. His energy is perfect. But um, the question is... Can you call yourself, whether you're a rapper in your case, we podcasters, can you call yourself something like a rapper, podcaster, if you're not getting paid for it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm more so an artist. Okay. So, yeah. Shit. Art is free. Mm hmm. Some art is free. Even though I'm not, I mean, it's just more so the price that you put on your art. I mean, I can mm-hmm. literally just force y'all to pay to listen to my music. Or. But I know, like that's not gonna yeah, benefit yeah, me yeah. right now. True. I more so just want y'all, y'all feedback, y'all ears, y'all listens. You know what I'm saying? So why would I even deprive y'all of that? So no, that that don't change what the fuck I do, or what I stand on. Shit. Word. It's because even <laughs> just just like y'all right now, y'all not getting paid right now. True. Bro, that don't mean y'all not podcasters. Exactly. That don't mean. No, I agree. Too- yeah, no, it's oh, a question. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to no, 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 I'm thinking out loud because I'm thinking out loud because I'm thinking out loud because that's a good ass question because like not only for us but just everybody out there listening. Just you got to remind yourself. Podcast like mainstream podcast, but yeah, but still oh, it question, don't matter. Question, uh, yeah, I can't okay. remember who right now. Shit, it don't matter. I'm Shout out to them. Whoever it matters. Yeah. <clears throat> All that good shit. What you see, up? you see. Hold on, we, you see, we elevating though. You, you, you know, we in a different studio. Yeah, sound, yeah. What studio sound we at? Flow. What studio? Elevation. We at? Thank you. Know? You. you on the gram? This you, shit dope. you on the gram? You feel? Y'all Yo, need to record. Put... Y'all need to do any music. Make sure y'all hit Soundflow up. You on Instagram, right? Word. If it's right, you on Twitter. Mm-hmm. You heard what he said at Soundflow Elevation. Look, I look. I know. I said <laughs> Greenhouse where I recorded. I ain't gonna lie. This shit kind of dope, bro. Nah, I ain't no no kind of this shit. This shit dope as hell. Like, I ain't, you feel me? And it's right here, too. Like, for real. It's for right real. in the town. If you're in Mercer we County, come. We ain't gonna give you the address. Real low kids. Just make sure you hit it. Real low kids. Yeah, you know, low kids. But yeah, my bad. Nah, this shit my dope, bad. Bro. Well, um, sure so dope. have you done any, like, I ain't gonna, I'm not. Have you done shows before? I'm sure you have. Mm-hmm. Were you, Only where, one. Surprise me. And where was that at? In Philly. Like two months ago, and how was the atmosphere? Like, how was how were you the day of going? How was your preparation? Was you nervous? I almost didn't go. Where was this? At- <laughs> damn, what happened? <laughs> Bro, I almost psyched myself out. Mm. Oh man, and I was like, damn, the songs I'm doing ain't even that bad. Like, uh-huh. I did. Oh uh, damn, I did. Um, I did. Sorry, I've been working. Mm. Started off with that, and then I did uh, simple math, mm. and then I ended with made different. Have I ever sent you the song made different? Nah, I feel some type of way that you didn't, but I mean you can always hear. I was about to say, nah, I was about to say you could you could listen to it. Like I I, I said Now what type of what type of was it a uh showcase? Was it a Yeah, it was more so like a showcase free vendors come through, people was it was it was love. Like it, oh, was, okay. it was a nice decent crowd. Was they rocking like, with you through through the midst of it? They was, but this is it was trial and error. Like I learned um if I'm gonna perform, I will drink afterwards. Don't mm. drink before. 
<laughs> make sure, make nah, sure y'all just, say that again for the camera, please. Drink afterwards. You got, you got to, you got to, you got to walk in a room and understand what you're there for. Like, okay, I walked in there. I thought I was cool and everything, so I adapted to my environment. But I shouldn't have done that. I was the artist. Mm. All right, now explain you know that a little like, more. Like basically, I'm the artist. I'm the artist. So basically, I'm coming there to entertain everyone else that's getting fucked up. Word. word that don't mean word. join in you on the festivities. I wasn't too, too fucked up, but I was fucked up to the point, like, I jumped up in the air, and then I came back down, and then I was like, <laughs> I had to take, I had to, like, I had to miss, like, two bars, it was like, it came back in, and I was like, whoa, like, I'm not about to do that again, and then that's when I noticed, I was like, nah, and then I was running out of breath quick, you know Whoever whoever caught that picture, <laughs> how you Yo. grabbed his ankles in the air all crazy? <laughs> hey, Yo! Somebody, somebody need to pay him. Somebody need to pay that photographer. His ancestors, that was, bro. That was, yo, that was Kevin Gates. He a different, yo. He a different breed, bro. Shout out to him, man. Nah, Look, Kev be talking shit. some ish though. He, oh, yeah, he nah, be, shit. He, he real be, intelligent. He be, him and L. E. Chop all of them. I see that. I see. He grabbed his. He grabbed his ankles. I look. <laughs> you won't ever see me grab my ankles for anything unless I'm stretching, bro. That's probably it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> But how was the show overall, though? Now, the show was love, though. Okay. The show was lit. I mean, I performed, like, second to last, which I thought was a good thing at first. But um, once not? I got there, nah, I mean, I thought it was. But, like, by the time I started performing, like, everybody was mm. uh, making their way out. Yeah. And just, not just not even just that. They was just chilling outside and shit. I'm like. So what time did you get on the stage? I was supposed to perform, I think, at, like, 9.30. 10, I probably performed at like 11. Mm. Uh, what time was it over? I think at 12. Ah. Yeah, they like, <laughs> what's next? No disrespect, but you know, people ain't yeah. That's what I'm saying. And then and, they don't know they who start, I am, so. And when they start drinking, they like. So I expected it, honestly. Party. But at, I wasn't even mad either. I was I was hyped. Like, I was excited. And that then and then that night, everybody that came, like, shout out to all my niggas that came that night. Y'all know who the fuck y'all is. I ain't got to shout y'all out. Like, they came and they gave me, like, real input. They was like, bro, this shit was lit. But that time you jumped up and then you spent the yeah. round, it was like, nigga. We need friends like, like that. So. <laughs> but nah, yeah, so I appreciate that. Nah, that shit was lit overall. And I appreciate uh, Homegirl for giving me that opportunity, too. Ooh. Her name was Erica. She from Philly, man. I wish I remember her information, yeah, but she yeah. she cool people though. Like she she really looked out for me and shit. Once this come out, hopefully I can name drop her or some shit. So the fee- for people that want to become an artist or they want to um you know start writing or start making music, what's some advice that you could give them? Have mm. tough skin and know what you're doing it for. If you're just doing it just to get paid, it's the wrong profession. Like go manage someone or go. I don't know, go tap into stocks or something like Got you. Like for real, for cause you're not gonna get paid off this shit. Like you think your favorite artist is getting paid, like unless you're doing Drake numbers, like Drake is getting like millions of streams and shit. Like you're not really and even off his millions of streams, he's probably only seeing like a hundred K off a million streams. If that, that's just me being polite. Hmm. If we wanna be technical, you're probably saying like fifty K off a million streams. So if you wanna keep calculating that shit, it's I Got you. I mm-hmm. I can't envision me getting a million streams <laughs> right. right now. So with that being said, I'm not in it to make money. Mm-hmm. Got gotcha. you. It's a so passion. You got to know what the fuck you doing. I know I'm supposed to be doing music, whether it's rapping or even if this rap shit don't work out. I know it's supposed to put me in places I'm supposed to meet certain people and do certain things with this shit. Whether I'm supposed to manage somebody, long mm-hmm. down the line, anything. Maybe I'm supposed to get in the industry and fuck up and know what to do and what not to do so I can teach the next person. You know what I'm saying? So I'm what's okay the, with that. What's the biggest mistake you can make as an artist? Um, Being too in, friendly. In your opinion. Being too friendly. Don't and click up with everybody. Don't just, just like, be grateful. Be, be, be understanding that you're blessed. Be understanding and be well aware of the opportunities that you're in and the situations that you're in. But don't dick ride. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Don't like, like, if you just... I don't know, just case in point, just say if you get to open up for somebody, right? And uh, say, like, Meek Mill, you get to open up for him in Philly or some shit, right? And 
He like, oh, I was fucking with your performance. You feel me? All right, appreciate that boom. All right, what you doing at the show? Nothing. Shit. All right, shit. I can ride with y'all. All right, cool. He's showing you love all throughout the night. You should be a fly on the wall. Mm. You shouldn't be the first person he see every time he turns his head. Yeah. You feel me? Don't be in VIP. Like, <laughs> act, act like you've been there. Wagon. Act mm-hmm. like you've been there. It should be to the point that you go back home and you tell all your niggas what happened and they don't believe you because you ain't got footage. Mm. We 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 quick you know what I'm saying? we quick like, to pull a phone out, so don't be a dick rider. Don't do that. <laughs> like please don't, bro. Because I promise you, I promise you, you gonna have longevity, bro. Because I just I've been a fly on the wall, and I'm st- I still ain't make it. Gotcha. Even in general, yeah. just not music. Like people don't know how to have a good time nowadays because they always on their phone. Like and you gotta show you, other. You don't people have to record shit, everything. Like, Got you. I don't, I don't, I don't post no stories because I'm, I'm in the moment. Like, mm-hmm. hopefully somebody get me while I'm in the moment. But I, don't, mm-hmm. I, don't, I kind of nah. Hopefully don't you portray get me. a lifestyle. <laughs> 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 Wait, hold on. Sorry. Y'all saw Red dancing Yo. for his birthday. You saw him dancing for his birthday, bro. You only turned thirty one, yeah. bro. I don't dance. If y'all don't know me, I, I don't dance. Believe it to my brother, but yeah, he was, he was, he was. I had to do a little something, something, yeah. <laughs> Razzle <Razzled> dance. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's not so about me. It's not so about don't me. uh don't be too friendly. Basically, yeah, act like you've been there before. Walk into every room feeling like you belong there. It's gotcha. that simple. It's the difference between being cocky and confident. Mm. Just know the difference. So expand on his question. I got a couple more before we, you know, hey, take wrap your time, this up. Man. Expand on his question. He said advice for. What you say, artists, basically? Artists or somebody so that want to start writing. My music? question would be, what would you give your eighteen year old self? What advice? Looking back now, like what would you tell yourself? Chill the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> That's kinda hard, eighteen. And I know I wouldn't I know I wouldn't have listened. Where I would have told myself, like, listen, you have to chill out because I know you and I know everything that you're doing right now, you're not going to be happy with once you reach this age. Mm. So just chill the fuck out. <laughs> if not, it's okay because you're still going to try to figure it out. So it's not the end of the world. But I would just tell myself to just chill the fuck out. Like I would do yoga or some shit. Like I would have meditated yeah, earlier. Yoga. yoga is lit. What? I only Hell did yoga is I only lit. did it once. Bro, shit. Yoga is lit. Bro, I meditate too. Like, Shit. That shit might sound corny. Nah, that's nah, no bro. Every morning before I start work, bro, hell no. I be having to meditate. For how long? 15 minutes minimum. Mm. Like, Are there different it. types of meditation or is it just... Oh, yeah. People just think you got to cross your legs and be like, hum. Like, mm. no, I literally, I sit on the edge of my bed. I get comfortable. I just close my eyes, you know what I'm saying? And I just put some on. It'd be like first take or something in the mm. background. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. That's Let's self-care close my right eyes. there. And I'll just lay back down. And I'm not sleeping, but I'm just being still. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, like, what helps me calm down is just, like, think of your thoughts as, like, a running highway. Mm, it's like you. a two-lane highway going two different directions. Yep. But it's, like, the flow of traffic is all over the place. You know <clears> what I'm saying? So you just basically want to try to get the flow of traffic to just... Like how PA drivers drive. Um, <laughs> Come to, like, a standstill. That's it. <laughs> that shit helped me. That Wait, shit how helped you, me. How you get into that, though? Um, like how long have you been being meditating? At my shit, probably past. I've I've meditated like since I was like twenty eight on and off, but I always choose to do it when I'm at like my lowest or when I really need to kind of thing, Word. just to get myself back up. And then once I get myself back up, I forget. Mm. So I'm trying to get out of that. So, so that's why I just do it every morning. So that's just really just taking it. Like, oh, you say you turn something on. Hmm. Is so it's just like you just calming yourself down. Is mm-hmm. that what it's really okay? It's more so calming yourself down. Yeah, babe. In Being a sense, still. yeah, it's yeah. just calming yourself down. Like you don't know how much that shit help. Like, cause some like for real, for real, some people. I when I wake up, I don't go straight to Instagram. I don't grab my phone. Mm-hmm. Like I check my phone to see what time it is, and then I leave it. Got you. Cause as soon as I go to Instagram, like you gonna be getting certain thoughts. Mm-hmm. You gonna be this. You gonna be like, I'm not trying to start my day off like that. Other people's uh, yeah. Visions. Hey, you don't want to start your day off like that. So, like, so yeah. Like, like, why am I moody this morning? <laughs> you first went thing, on, you, you, first went thing you did when you woke up is you just saw dirt <laughs> with a hundred million dollars like this. You get what I'm saying? You got clock in the like, work. Of course, you uh fucking depressed, nigga. Like, <laughs> call out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Start this over. Start, yeah, fuck, start my day over. It Hell just started. Yeah. It started over. Um, so what's next? That's a broad question, but know, like man. Um, you put out twelve songs, like I keep saying. You gonna shit, continue uh, that? Like Yeah, for right now, um I'm gonna continue to do that. Honestly, I'm just gonna I think the plan for the rest of the year is just keep doing what I'm doing right now. And in the midst of that, I'm just gonna keep recording. And by then I should have something that's just like mind blown. But right now, I'm just telling y'all, I haven't released the best songs yet. Mm. So like why those 12 songs? Um, They all made sense at that point in time. And because like the past couple weeks, because of my engineer, he sent the songs at a certain, like he's only able to mix and master and send them at a certain time because he's now working in California. He coming back mm. and forth. So off the strength, off the love, he sends me like a little gift pack. He's like, all right, I mix and master these five. I mix and master these five. So he know I'm okay for like the next five weeks. Or... Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm. But then I've been doing bullshit. Like, okay, two this week, two that week. And then I'm like, Jay, he I like, I need a couple right, more. He's like, all right, bro. All right, all right. Mm. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. That, um, man. Shout out to that. And I got real. marathon video on the way. Um, Shit, we shot snippets for that and everything. Uh, Shit. Marathon video on the way. Um. Other than that, successful failure. I'm actually about to go back into my show and get this shit done. For real, for real. Anybody need features, just holla at me. I ain't too far. How can they follow you again? How can uh, they get in contact with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, E11VIN underscore 1990. Um, Twitter, same thing. Uh, shit, I'm barely on Facebook Apple now. Emails. Oh, yeah, Shh. Email. I mean, look, you, you can reach email. out to me on Instagram no, if you want to goddamn. People want to get real corporate on him. <laughs> yeah. You said. Hey. Right? <laughs> right slide them right DMs person might see. Word. Slide them DMs first. Then we can talk shit. Um, Where they can find your music? Apple Music? Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube, even YouTube, just everywhere. Just type uh-huh. in E11VIN11. Gotcha. That's, that's it. You heard what he said. I'm, I'm everywhere, man. Well, hey, I appreciate you for coming through. Yeah, Once again, always, family. Man, man. This is episode 75 of the Playmaker Woo! Podcast. We in Soundflow Studios Make today. Make sure y'all hit him up, yeah, you too. Get the goddamn you heard me? <laughs> 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 fucking picture of this goddamn seven, man. This shit hey, check out my gram. I, I put it on there. But um, oh, yeah, this one. is the Playmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Reggie Coleman. DJ Bean. We out. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Used to kick dogs down to take a risk for it. We was a piss poor, just wanted every single Jordan in the store, unemployed. So I'm taking yours. Call me catching up quick, trying to fill a void. Damn, pick your poison, sipping liquor, blocking out the noise. But the truth still null and void. Oh boy, got ambition in the million knees, nigga. Please don't bother me. Just leave a message at the beep. I gotta eat, so I grind eight days a week until they bury me. A living legend in the flesh, but I'm still stressed. I know life is a yeah. test. They go right, you go left. Don't worry. You uh, I was on my hustle, so I was grinding every day yeah, yeah. Life was really crooked cause my pockets was astray yeah, yeah, Started yeah, with an yeah. eighth, now we serving plates If you wasn't by my side, then you wouldn't know my pain I gotta go and get it, try and get away Daydreaming ever since I was a young nigga yeah, young Like nigga. a day just stacking up my ones, nigga yeah, yeah, Now yeah. I'm starting just to feel like I'm the one nigga, one nigga. Uh, To make it out the hood, we only dream that right. All my homies rip the set and they bleed that I'm trying to pull up in the bins, not a C-class Rubber through your hood, do the mean dash. Yeah, yeah molded yeah, by my lessons yeah. since I had a lessons. Yeah, live this life of sin, I just count my blessings. Wow. Keep my faith on the interstate, don't switch directions. Wow. Yeah, I gotta go get it, that's just in my essence. I was on my hustle, I was grinding every day. Yeah, yeah. Life was really crooked, cause my pockets was astray. Yeah, Started yeah, with yeah. an eighth, now we serving plates. If he wasn't by my side, then you wouldn't know my pain. I gotta go and get it, try and get away. Daydreaming ever since I was a young nigga. Like a day just Stacking up my ones, nigga. Now I'm starting just to feel like I'm the one, nigga. One, nigga. Uh.